Fox News alert the Trump team is hoping to turn the tables on Democrats following the release of the redacted Mueller report. President Trump's 2020 campaign and the Republican National Committee now saying it is time to investigate the investigators. Here is a portion of a Trump campaign video. The evidence is pretty clear that there was collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Cold, hard evidence. Plenty of evidence of collusion or conspiracy in plain sight. It was a false narrative. It was, it was a terrible thing. Uh, we can never let this happen to another president again. Let's bring in Tom Fitton, president of Judicial Watch. Thank you very much for talking to us. Did you just um, catch my interview with Congressman Swalwell? I did. By any chance? All right. So uh, maybe you'll answer the question because he didn't want to regarding this, you know, uh, stand, you know, the, the, the standard that is set right now with the president who's currently in office. Is there a double standard when it comes to the Democrats not stopping at anything in order to go as far as trying to impeach this president? Yeah, I think this, it's been one seamless garment of presidential harassment and, frankly, an attempt to overthrow the president. Uh, they didn't like the fact he won, and so they're willing to break all the rules. Uh, there's no uh, basis to impeach him. Uh, they know that. They, just as they've known, there's been no collusion. Uh, they didn't present evidence of obstruction. It, you know, the Gossip Girl report written by Mueller is, um, you know, White House back and forth about presidential supervision of the Justice Department and the FBI, uh, and they would have you believe uh, the president's not allowed to do his job as president, and he should be impeached or a Mueller suggesting even uh, potentially thrown in jail for objecting to his out-of-control investigation. You know, in the end, impeachment, though, is a political process. So, you know, you point out the president's uh, campaign has put out an ad. You had a presidential candidate on before me. Uh, so uh, I think the American people will categorize it appropriately. Now that the Mueller report is out, uh, the Trump team is hoping to turn the tables on Democrats. His 2020 campaign, as you just saw, um, you know, is getting that message out there first and foremost. But, you know, aside from, you know, them saying that they must investigate the investigators, uh, President Trump also hinted yesterday that vowing that he's going to get to the bottom of these things. What does that mean? The RNC also jumped on board. Um, where is the accountability? Who's going to be held accountable? And will it be in time before the 2020 election? Well, you'll have more accountability. Uh, Judicial Watch has over 40 Freedom of Information Act lawsuits on this deep state effort to overthrow the president. Uh, we've gotten documents on the FISA warrants, on payments the FBI was making to steal. Uh, on Mrs. Clinton, we just received documents showing the FBI literally in its investigative notes wrote down uh, Clinton email cover-up. Uh, so this is... Uh, yeah, there's plenty there already, uh, to me, to generate law enforcement activity. Uh, and Attorney General Barr has got to, uh, now that the Mueller operation's out of the way and there's no more excuses, uh, we've got to start prosecuting people who abuse their office to target the president. You know, my view is the president is a crime victim. Uh, he was illegally targeted by the Obama administration and later the deep state under his own presidency with spy operations that had no valid basis. Uh, and uh, there's got to be accountability there. And the Attorney General, I'm, I'm hopeful, recognizes that. But as I point out, Judicial Watch is going to go full speed ahead. We've been doing right. the investigation of the investigators for the last three years. So uh, I, I just hope the Justice Department, rather than obstructing us, as they have under King Mueller, now that the king is retiring or being, uh, you know, leaving, right. uh, they get back to t get back to basics. All right, Tom Fitton, thank you very much. We appreciate you coming on, and happy Friday to you.